G'day, I'm Jacob from Make Science Fun. This is my son Sam. Thanks for joining us today. I'm a super proud science teacher today. In Year 7 Science, we've been studying the science of toys. And uh, we've been looking at Nerf guns and projectile motion and bay blades and circular motion and gyroscopes and that sort of thing. Anyway, I challenged my students to build their own toy. And a few of my students built fantastic toys and here's just two examples of them. This one is built by Adam and his grandpa and it's a, it's a, it's a steamboat, it's a putt putt boat. It's got like copper and candles. Anyway, we'll have a look at that working later on. Um, but this one here, this, this skill tester machine that's got like race cars and lights and buzzers and all sorts of things, it was built by Ruby, so big shout out to Ruby. And uh, what it is, it's a skill testing challenge. So Sam's going to help me with this skill testing challenge. What the idea is that you have to bring this loop through the maze without touching the copper. Because if you touch the copper, then the car goes into the fiery pit of despair. See that? And you lose. So you have to do this skill tester without the car going into the pit because if the car goes into the pit, then you're out. Are you ready, Sam? Ready, set, go. Oh, oh. You better go a bit faster, Sam. Ha ha, I won, I won. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good game, isn't it? Yeah. Is that Sam? Hey? Yeah. Eh? Oh, fantastic. Well done, Ruby. So let's have a look under this. Eh? Oh, what do we got? Oh, lots of wires and that sort of thing. Oh, there's even a nice bit of a circuit here. Um, we've got Ruby's name, skill tester switch. That's the, the lights connection. Oh, this is a little transformer. There's a little transformer here. And this is a little rheostat that um, adjusts the speed. And there's another transformer. They've gone to a lot of effort with this. Uh, well done. This is a fantastic project. Nicely labelled and everything. Oh, so, so good. I hope it gives you an idea for a science toy that you could make for yourself. Well done, Rubies. And now for this putt putt boat by Adam. It's got beautiful sheet metal um, aluminium which has been joined with rivets and a bit of silicon. But then it's got this copper tube that has been bent around. He used um, a blowtorch to bend it around a pipe. There's some silicon there to make sure it doesn't leak. And then he's got a candle in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it in the water and light the candle like so. That will start heating up the copper pipe now at the moment there's nothing but air in the copper pipe, so there's a few little air bubbles coming out there. But what's really important is to actually fill up the copper pipe with water. So I've got this syringe and I'm going to squirt, I'm going to squirt water into the copper pipe. That water in the copper pipe is going to be heating up, so it won't take long for this to go. Now, this is only a short little distance, um, but I've got some footage of uh, the boat at school, and so once I show you it here working, I'll show you the footage from school. Oh, here we go. I see a bit of movement. Look at it. There it goes. See that? Oh, look, look. I can see water sort of being pushed out, and the boat goes forwards. Yes! Woo! <laughs> So what happens is the water, as the water heats up, it expands and it pushes back out the pipe and then cold water enters and then it heats up and it pushes it out again. So it's like pull, 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 pull. And Newton's third law says that if you push the water out that way, then the water will push the boat forward that way. So let's go check out the footage from school. Look at that. Look at that, Adam. Hey, how good's that? 
It's great. Woo! Look at it go! Up, 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 That's a win, mate! Well done, students, for jobs well done. I love it. Here it goes again. Woohoo! <laughs> How good is that? Have a look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, oh, oh. You see the bit of water spraying out? Well, thanks so much for joining me today on this episode, Make Science Fun. How about you leave them a comment to uh, encourage them and to say, well done students, well done. Okay, bye for now everybody. <laughs>